Uh, okay, I have to be fast. <laughs> it's the end of the day. Uh, I was... Uh, yes, I was doing a lot of things today, many, many different things from phone calls to uh, cutting stencils for some stuff that I want to do uh, with with my project, Beautiful Women. Um, and there's a question that burns, uh, that people ask me all the time, but I can't really give an answer or I can't. It's about motivation and how do I motivate myself uh, to do art and what, what's... This? So it's, it's a little bit complicated. I think, um, no, it's actually not that complicated. For me, motivation actually It's, uh, I would say that it's the same, maybe it's the same as inspiration. But for me, motivation comes from work. Uh, I know that there are times where I don't do anything and then, then I don't do anything. But uh, motivation is for me, standing up in the morning, uh, bringing my child to the daycare and, and hopping on my back and coming to the studio and starting to work. It doesn't matter what I do. It does really, it's, if it's mailing, if it's sitting on uh, Facebook, uh, creating content or, 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 or LinkedIn, if it's, um, painting, drawing, going out, uh, checking materials, all of those stuff, they just fill me up with motivation and inspiration. Uh, I learn every day more and more and more about myself and about projects and about people and about, uh, communication and, and so on. And it's basically for me, the biggest motivation is actually the challenge. Um, the way that challenge that I'm challenged by things. Uh, the more I challenge, the more I am motivated. Uh, I or the more I get power, the itch to move on. I think the motivation in in the way that it's communicated today is is uh, is more about I don't know hyping. It's too sweet for me. For me, motivation is more uh, powerful. It's a deep thing. It's a it's from your it's from your tail. It's a it's a movement. Um, yes. So especially now to this project, which it started okay, and then then came the COVID, and it changed. And this is a very very transformative work, um, project. And uh, even so, I had really a couple of really bad weeks uh, before, and. I just remembered myself just go to the studio to see what it can do and in the moment I came to the studio and started looking at papers and looking at, at big pictures of the paintings that I did before and just moving on and saying ah I can do the big I can do the small how can I how can I communicate it and then uh, then thinking how can I communicate the whole project this is this is what motivates me and this is what inspires me um, yeah uh, this is this is how I work um, by creating challenges. Uh, <laughs> it's I way way said uh, this. Yeah, we create uh, this artist. We create problems and then we we make the solutions. So mm, that's I think <laughs> that definitely works for me as well. Uh, thank you, I. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. Um, stay sober, please. If you have the time and uh, and the wallet, uh, go to uh, www.sao.ngo and donate money. Donate them. These are two two. This is an organization that created the women shelters uh, in Athens and in um, Sao, and there I got to meet beautiful women. Uh, they're an amazing organization. They work really, really hard in really, really stupidly stupid conditions. Uh, every bit of things that you can do will help. Um, yes. Thank you.